Let's have a look at the Sydney Olympic side today with Chris Kalantzis coming back into the outfit and Milan Blagojevic taking up a central defensive role. He agrees it is a critical match. Absolutely, Robbie. Uh, today's game is crucial to us. Um, obviously, it'll push us up into third or fourth place if results go our way. And if we don't get the result that we're looking for, then obviously we can stay in seventh or eighth. So it is crucial to us. Um, this might might change. Um, we have to learn to, to live with the suspensions and the injuries and go on from there. For the Adelaide City lineup today, Brad Amore is out injured and a straight swap there in the left back position with Dino Melillo coming into the side. A combined 71 years experience between Milan Ivanovic and Alex Tobin. Up front, the danger man will be their striker Damian Murray and he believes that Adelaide City have been in pretty reasonable form. Yeah, we have. I mean, we didn't win away from home our last away game, but last week we played Marconi, we, we won convincingly, we kept the ball, um, and we're looking for a win today. We have to win. I think it's so crucial to both teams to win, to keep in touch with the top two teams. Well, let's say good afternoon now to Rob Wheatley to check the conditions ground level. Rob. Yes, Peter, summer soccer, it's hot, hot, hot. And nothing would more closely describe the conditions that are operating here at ground level at Belmore Sports Ground. Conditions really have got temperatures in the high 20 degrees. The ground surface, though, itself is superb, and that should favour both sides. And it really will be down to smart, conservative running. Who makes that will probably emerge the victors later today. Back to you, Peter. And the referee today, Matthew Breeze, the 26-year-old police prosecutor from Cogra. And he's pretty good in that role too, Alan. Very good. And his girlfriend, Heidi's also a referee, so it's well in the family. Well, we see now the first free kick of the match happening about 10 seconds after the whistle. The ground in absolutely perfect order, as Rob outlined. I've never seen it as good. I've called a few matches here across the years. It is pristine today. There should be some good football play between these two sides. Olympic running from left to right on your screen, and they go back now to Ante Juric. And Bahutsis pumps it high and full into the sun. It should be dropping lower and will make things a little more difficult. Now, there might be something on up front. Is there going to be a chance here for the season's leading goal scorer? Well, pretty tardily cleared, and it's in the back of the net from Tomei. Norman Tomei capitalising on some very, very ordinary Adelaide City defence. There seemed to be nothing on from a harmless Cardozo cross, but it wasn't that harmless, Alan. Well, it was a great effort by Cardozo. He is the leading goal scorer. And he set that one up as the ball dropped nicely, had a little bit of space, got it on his left foot, did the right thing, hit it early. Unfortunate it was, really. Very unfortunate for the experienced Ivanovic to just basically take the pace off that as we see it again. Great strike, as you said, Pete. He had no choice there. A lucky rebound, really, off Cardozo and fell absolutely beautifully there. And you don't miss it from there. And what a great start. Well, the club's all-time leading goal scorer. He has the record. A 25-year-old graphic designer, and he's put them into the lead today. Well, that's a good start, and it's going to force Adelaide City, apart from anything else, to come forward. If they'd scored the first goal, Alan, we might have seen a different game, but I'm excited by the prospect of the game now. Not that I wasn't before. <laughs> well, Adelaide City don't usually play all that well and score that many goals away from home, but you're right, they've got to now. <laughs> well, the ball put through the centre by Carlo Talladera. Dominating that midfield role he will be today. Sydney Olympic undefeated at home this year. They've scored 15 goals, now 16 goals in six home games. And that'll have to go down as one of the fastest ones to date this year in the National Soccer League. And isn't it funny when you've got Damian Murray there, who's the world record holder for scoring quick goals. And we've got another one today, Pete. Well, a pretty potent attacking force today. If you bring up Kalina and Kalantzis into it, they've got four players who really just love to head forward, don't they? But Adelaide City with the ball now and a little bit of space wide on the left for Dino Manillo. And we're going to see Ligojevic penalised, wearing the white boots. Ivanovic forward trying to pick up Hassel and look at the chasing coming from Olympic already mind you they're going to have to 
bide their time in that department. They don't want to wear themselves out. The plan is in the heat not to expire all the energy early on. There's a little bit of a half chance coming for Adelaide City, but it's hooked high, wide, and uh, over the top from Damien Murray. But he had a bit of space. Not the shot that he desired. Well, he did have a bit of space. Too much space, really, there for a goal-scoring freak, really. Like Damien Murray, you don't give someone of that calibre that much space. And that's going to heighten the battle between Cardozo and Murray for the top goal scorer. And I can tell you, Murray never gives up. He always comes home in a storm in the second round. Knocked back by Tomei to Thomas. And that's going to be an Adelaide City throw. And quickly taken, and Murray's away. No one chasing back to cover that Scott Thomas hole. And he's done pretty well to get back. Look out now. The ball, well, it was there for half a moment. But Manillo not finding the right cross. 1-0, Sydney Olympic. Offside call, a <laughs> very tight one too. Zoran Matic, three championships. In this Adelaide City side. I'm not worried at all about any heat at this time of the day. It's been very hot in Adelaide recently. The side's used to it. Each team has to play, has to make use of the conditions, and do as best they can. So no complaints in that department from Matic. Well, the heat that will surprise him is conceding that early goal because that's only their 12th goal in basically one round of football. And it's a, a magic result for the defence, but certainly very unlikely for, for them to concede a goal this early in the game, Peter. Well, still a battle in the early moments for supremacy despite that initial goal. There's a real tussle going on in the midfield. Look at Tomei bursting down the left. Can he get clear? He can't, but that was a great aggressive run and it needed a decisive intervention from the, the veteran, Ivanovic. He had to chase back. He made a good tackle, 38 years old. They are going to run at him today. That is a plan for Sydney Olympic. No surprises probably, but they might find him a tough nut to crack. And look, space on the left again for Adelaide City. Murray making a good run. Well, the bump off the ball from Blagojevic didn't favour him in the first instance, but it came clear in the second. And a beautiful ball by Cardozo, and they swoop forward now in numbers. Kalina. Well, the release a little bit tardy, but the shot might come in as he brought down. Tomei chases. He hits it wide. There's going to be a free kick. In the most delectable position for Sydney Olympic. On the charge in the middle, there was a moment when well, the ball might have been given to Tomei. He had a bit more room. Yeah, we didn't quite see it there, do we, Peter, on the replay, but certainly a good opportunity there and great skills. And Olympic are just pumped up, aren't they, after last week? Amazing what an early goal can do for a side. And they're looking for a second one now. And certainly Adelaide City on the back foot, and that's a rarity. They usually like to get settled early, Adelaide City, especially away from home. but. This is very interesting. With Kalantis back in the side, they've got another good option for the free kick, but I think they'll have a strike from distance. And a little variation, and the hook is saved. Well, a good variation too, Cardozo. We thought that Mark Brennan might have been called into play, or perhaps Sakenis, but uh, a very cagey effort from Sydney Olympic, Rob Wheatley. Well, I can tell you the uh, only other surprising aspect of the game so far, Peter, is that some of the patrons that have just walked in a couple of minutes late is, uh, is quite characteristic in soccer. They cannot believe the scoreline, but I think, as Alan quite rightly said, it has uh, revealed a new level of urgency in the Olympic midfield and attack, and it could be the springboard that they did need to really settle them right into an enormously uh, important game for them. Good run by Kalina. Plenty of defence back, although another ricochet. Tidied up by Ivanovic forward to Viet and he pumps a long ball for Mori. Gee, a little bit more direction on that long ball downfield and Mori, he can find the space, can't he? Very elusive, he can lose a defender quickly. Well, he's got such pace and without Mehmet Durakovic in that defence today, he can cause problems, don't worry about that. It'll, it'll just be a case of timing his runs. The heat will certainly sap 
a lot of energy and, and Morris is the sort of player that you expect to make those runs all the time because that's where he scores most of his goals when he gets in behind defenders. Alan, are you surprised to see Milan Blagojevic at left back and uh, Thomas Moore in that central role? Well, it'll, it'll probably change throughout the game. I think they're just going man to man at this stage. But as we see the replay coming there, just a little bit too long for Kalantis. Couldn't quite get that one and easily marshaled over by the Milan Ivanovic sporting the beautiful new short haircut, Peter. <laughs> he might need it today. Well, his daughter Anita's only eight years old, but I'm sure she still recognises him. He's been around in soccer for so long, and what a great fixture and great personality he, he is for the game. Sydney Olympic, an incredible amount of possession early on in this game, and that's going to force Adelaide City out of the shell, although they don't really have any sort of control in the midfield at the moment. They've pumped a couple of long balls forward, which have invited something from Morrie, but that has been about the extent of it. Morrie to be pretty much man-on-man -man marked by the quick Scott Thomas. Very consistent, very sharp, and the former Adelaide City man, reasonably equipped to know the Morrie game. Emerton, who played on Friday night. We haven't seen too much of him to date, but he has been making a few runs off the ball in the middle of the park, as yet to gain one in a serious position. Blagojevic might be happy with the ball forward. And we'll have a, a goal kick as Franco Kalina surveys the situation. And I have to make mention of that ground surface. But compared to a very lush Wollongong last week, Brandon Park did appear to be good, but uh, it was perhaps a little bit long for Sydney Olympics liking. Good for grazing. This game here, or this ground here, well, you could, uh, it's like a fairway. One of Australia's A-grade courses. Anillo, a tussle for possession with Jason Kalina. A little word for the impetuous youngster by the well-named Mr. Breeds. Showing his policeman skills there, possibly, Pete. <laughs> I don't think he'd take any nonsense. Not on by Hassel, Mori. And a good first-time ball out on the right side. Now, there's something developing here on the overlap. Can they get the ball in near post? Mori had managed to get in there tight to try and find the goal on the near post. But instead, it's gone across the goal line. Offside, it must have been. But, gee, a pretty good exploration down that right side, Alan. Yeah, well, it's just an easy one there for the referee. You can play advantage, and possibly he's done that with the goal kick, but you picked it. It was offside, but that's a dangerous ball. Murray has scored so many great goals and a lot from that situation. He scored one a couple of weeks ago in Adelaide against Marconi. That was their first, and the same sort of thing. A nice pace cross, and he gets on the end of it with either his foot or his head. Now, V initially was in the middle of it all, foraging away. And now a long ball forward that wonder what a bounce too many times. It doesn't. Tobin and also Ivanovic back to tidy it up, and uh, Petkovic with a little, little bit of slippery work along the byline. Well, from personal experience, I can tell you, Milan may have trouble with the new hairdo there. Just didn't <laughs> quite have enough or too much pace on that one. <laughs> may take even a guy of his experience a few more headers before he gets it right. Uh, what sort of uh, change of pace is there, Alan? How many centimetres do you think? Oh, is probably, yeah, probably about a blade three <laughs> instead of the long growth, as he's used to. But Great first-time ball into Viet. Look at that one-time ball. and. Adelaide City almost come up with an opportunity to Terminello, who'd managed to get into the area. Good play from Adelaide City. Possession football at the moment. Tussle for the ball, and Manillo wins the free kick. Ivanovic back on halfway. Gee, it was a beautiful first-time ball he played in before. Look at Mori again, getting on the outside of his man. The turn's a beauty as he brought down. He gets to his feet again quickly, and it's a corner. Great hustle and bustle from Damien Mori. Never beaten, and he didn't try and buy this penalty. Some players would be lying down, try to make a meal of it. He's straight to his feet and almost had a shot on goal. Although he did question that his shirt was being pulled there by the ref, but a good decision, I thought. 
Now it's the far post ball. Tobin was in space on the far post. The ball didn't find him. And a long range drive coming in. But to no effect. And Manillo, you just watch that sail almost onto the train line. Australian schoolboys. Rob Wigley, you a former schoolboy. I think they're just about to go on a tour, aren't they? Yeah, fortunately for them, they're off uh, overseas. They're uh, heading to New Zealand and <laughs> off to Fiji for uh, matches against their uh, Olympic side. So uh, we wish all the boys uh, the best of luck. And to Chris James, the manager and coach and Tyler's worker there, we hope you have a great, successful trip. Well, Adelaide City have made a few excursions into Sydney Olympics penalty box. Eight times, in fact, for, for no reward. So the, the balance of the game probably edging Adelaide City's way a little bit, despite the score. 1-0 Olympic. Here's Yurich. Plenty of country in front. Look at Viet trying to terrorise Brennan. And you're going to see a throw in now to Sydney Olympic. Not much yet from Kalansis and Emerton. But they're just as likely to explode and make a real impact on this game. Well, with Yates well, at the back. Yeah, sorry, Peter, they are likely to explode, but certainly the difficulty for them in these conditions will be obviously the fact that Emerton, as you said, played on Friday night and Kalansis hasn't played for a few weeks. He's been on the bench and certainly they'll have to time their runs and time their fitness if they're to last the 90 minutes today. Yurich, he had Blagojevic wide on the right. He wants to go for the more difficult option to Tome, and that it comes clear now to Ivanovic. Yates was with him, but he found Viet. And the one-touch football at times is beautiful from Adelaide City. Possibility of a handball, not given, and away goes Blagojevic. The first time ball is a beauty. Tome has Kalansis in the centre if he can find him. There's Emerton. Emerton now, will he take them on here? Emerton on the left foot, just wide. Good ball forward. Good effort from the number seven, the goal scorer. And a pretty good finish too. Great little layoff by Tome. Good. Had to get it on his left foot. Alex Tobin knows that with all the experience. Does exactly the right thing. Forces him to play the shot. I thought the best option was to get it in early because he had numbers in the box. But a good opportunity there and a good strike on goal. Well, nearly on goal anyway. Mm, good effort. A nod on came from Everton and Mark Yates. And the coolness of the 38-year-old. Missed the first four games through his Achilles tendon strain, but he's recovered fully from that. In fact, that kept him out of the Australian campaign. And Mori again, just a tad offside. Bad luck. He'll, he'll time his runs though, Mori, and pretty soon he'll get one of those just right. And that's the danger, as we saw before from Tomei at the other end. Both teams now prepared to go at each other and knock that ball into the corridors on the flanks and get those crosses in. So with the 1-0 scoreline, this game's already changed, Peter, hasn't it? And both teams are looking to get on the board for the, for the first time, Adelaide, and for the second time, obviously, Olympic. And see Alex Tobin there trying to pull his defence a little bit wider. He felt it was going to end up at his feet, and it, it did. And now up the centre goes Viet. Will he try one? The ball wide on the right. The cross comes in, and Murray denied by a great Bahoots a save. What a cracking effort, and the raid down the right side. An absolute beauty from David Terminello after this Viet attempt. A oh, great little layoff there wide by Viet, and they're the balls we speak about all the time. Murray's just got to get the other side of the goalkeeper, and that's a goal. Beautiful skills, great pace on the cross, but Bahutsis, sensational stop there under pressure with the sun in his eyes. And as he timed that interception superbly well, he had to Rob Wheatley. A beautiful raid by Adelaide City. They're looking crisp in some of their work, and the ball's given up to Hassel. We'll come back to you, Rob. We'll watch this attack. Mori again found a bit of space, but the, the tackling back was superb. Now, well, that should have been a free kick, I thought. No, on Sakenis. The referee says play on. Alan Hunt is shaking his head, agreeing with the referee. So we'll take a back seat as we watch them now in the centre of the field through Taladira, spreading it wide to Manilo. And then Tobin, look at the space in the middle for Viet again. And Kim trying to chase the bouncing ball on the right. 
been operating on that right side. Peter, that was wasted in the end uh, by Vid, but certainly the uh, point that you made about the uh, important pass from Ivanovic uh, to Vid and also Terminello, much more forward at this stage. Far post ball, a good one. Colleen was lining it up. Alex Tobin came in to push it away vitally. Might come again. Kalina, they're singing forward in the middle. It goes now to Cardozo. Collapses, collapses, and offside, just Emerton. Oh, slippery defending from Alex Tobin and Ivanovic calling the troops forward and Yates. They were on a knife edge in defence and they made the critical decision at just the right moment, otherwise it would have been a goal. Well, the Adelaide City defence caught square there. Did well to stand up in the end, but Emerton Really, on your right foot there, you'd expect to at least get something on target, but the referee just reminding him not to kick the ball away after the whistle's blown, or you'll get a yellow card next time, son. That's the way the rules work. Now Olympic. Coburn intercepting again. Calavera, the beaten, but Sydney Olympic vast in numbers in the middle of the field. Ligojevic kicking out to Lances and the layoff to Sakinis. Juric, that's good one-touch football and Mark Brennan is away down the left. Beautiful board forward to Emerton. And a neat touch on the inside. This is great from Sydney Olympic. Some of their best work so far. Kalantzis, the one touch comes again. Oh, gee. Denied it to death, but that was a great move. Tomei combining a couple of times at the end of the movement. Terrific stuff from Sydney Olympic. They've got it in control now, Olympic. Great little left foot flick by Kalantzis there, but well marshaled and cut out and read there by the experienced Milan Ivanovic. The crowd's starting to warm now, Pete, aren't they? They're really starting to expect something. A second, possibly a third. We saw four on Friday night, maybe today again. Well, here's the corner, far post, and... Gee, well, Kalantzis seemed to balk when he had a free go at the ball and a shot on goal. And then a little bit of surprise as it came through to him, and Viator tried to bring Mori in at rapid pace onto the football. The idea was right, but Molly wasn't quite up to it. The road runner pace, although he's a very quick man. Good game at the moment. And again, you have to give credit to the, the surface. The players have great confidence when they're playing on a pitch that has been presented in this order today. Uh, showing in the football skills. Here's Emerton. Cardozo with the run. What's the turn like? Running off him was Tomei. The defence firm again from Adelaide City. Well, Peter, the message from inside the Olympic camp and from the bench also from Branko Kalina is that uh, they need to lift, not just uh, individual players, but the whole team. And I think that is being followed uh, very closely by the players and they're really having a very solid opening 20-minute spell for the home side. Now Cardozo, look at Tomei rattling into the centre. Can he find him? He still might have the shot. Back to Kalina. He blasts one. Kalina, oh, splendid drive. Splendid hit from Jason Kalina. It's still 1-0, but only just. Yeah, it is only just. Great little layoff again. And why not? Let's have a strike from distance. We can't get in behind that good defence. And a good one it was, but Petkovic had his eye on that, didn't he, Pete? Well marshalled, but a good game and a great shot. Well, now a bit of grabbing. Good play from the referee. We'll give him some applause. It was play on. Olympic appealing here. There was a little bit of grabbing and tussling. It was one way, then the other. Advantage played. Let's get on with it, says the crowd, says Adelaide City, and Olympic respond. Tobin, back now to Taladira, and Ivanovic again. They're leaving him alone, Emerton. And now the ball pulled wide on the right side. Pulled in by Yates. And away goes Bogorovic, and then to Kalina, scuttling forward. Emerton far post, singing for the ball. Ivanovic with him, Emerton comes to receive. Back to Tomei. Kalina's far post now. Who wants it? Kalantzis in the centre. Let's pull it back to Thomas. Adelaide City, all back, barring Mori. Mark Brennan looking for the far post ball. Tomei, the diminutive figure, has to chase. 
And they win a throw-in. And that's not a bad option, considering the congestion of the penalty area. 1-0, Olympic lead. A fine match here at Billmore, if you've just joined the coverage. That oh, was a good sliding tackle there from Manilo, wasn't it? He had to do it. Tomei was luring him in, looking for the corner or the throw-in. Got it anyway, but both teams have really lifted, haven't they, in trying to get first to the ball in the last five minutes. Tomei, nothing to work with. Good ball back to Emerton. Emerton will take them on. Near post ball for no one. And I think Cardozo might have a cursory glance in Emerson, Emerton's direction because he was in space in the middle. Blagojevic can restart things to Kalina. One feels Kalimpika just starting to, to pep it up a little bit to uh, attack the Adelaide City numbers. And that's dribbled all the way out of play. Luke Wood. If the line had been about a metre further over, Terminello terminating his own run. Well, that's his nickname, the Terminator. <laughs> it's an obvious one, but certainly they need someone to get in there and start having a go other than Damian Murray. If they're going to get something out of this game today, Adelaide City. And just on Emerton, he certainly does look a little tired. I don't want to put the mozzer on him. But Adrian Savinsky on the bench waiting to make his debut, you'd think he'll certainly make that debut today at a later date. Yes, Savinsky, who's been out for quite some time. He suffered a broken vertebrae in pre-season, going up for a header, flipping over and landing awkwardly. And he's on the bench today. Blagojevic. Not something you normally get in soccer. It's more more prone to a car accident, isn't it? A broken neck. Mm. But it was an awkward fall, as you said, Pete. And let's hope he makes a full recovery. And he's a quality player and a good player, strong player that can hold the ball up for Olymp Olympic. They've lacked that all year. Via to Yates and Kim is still hugging the right sideline. Via singing forward again. Back it goes to Manilo. And a good interception by Blagojevic. And a quick first-time ball is required. And it goes out to Kalansis. Tomei with the run. Will he have the shot? He does. Great save, Petkovic. Petkovic down to knock it away. And Sydney Olympic bristling with enthusiasm and quality. Great strike, Tomei. First time on the left foot, and he's improved already 20 to 30% from last week with that run. Took it well. He had an option there to cut it back across for, for Bogovic, I think it was. But certainly in that, that position there, you've got to do a striker's instinctive thing and get a strike on target. Because if he saves it the wrong side, you can always knock it in as they did in the first instance for the first goal. Now, Juric running around. He's the decoy headed away. I think that was Zia who took the ball away. And they might find it coming back in very, very quickly. And far post, Tomei! Oh, gee, the bounce on the breeze and off the good surface. Just eluding him, but he's found some space, Rob Wheatley. Yeah, well, surprising the amount of uh, space in that area, but I think we've got to have a look at those possession stats again because that is the key for me at this stage. Possession, the heat, and a couple of lapses from Adelaide City certainly show they're on the deficit in that particular domain of the game. Olympic, apart from their good form, well, the ball and the keeping of the ball is just so impressive at this stage. Yeah, but they're the wisest team in the competition, Rob. They do it all the time when they play away from home. Even at 1-0 down, they can snatch something at the death. And with players of the calibre of Tobin on the ball there, don't be surprised if they do it. Because <laughs> Olympic need that second and third, don't they? Manilo with the run, and he's over the corner. Took a little deflection off Emerton. Huh? Not according to the referee. <laughs> Offside. I beg your pardon. It mattered not, but it, I think it did take a little bit of a deflection. But Emerton not penalised for that. Urich. So can us back to help Thomas. Not required. Look at the ball to Emerton. And he'll take a defender on. He beats Yates. Tamey's in the middle. And Adelaide will clear away. The Ivanovic and Viet caught in possession. 
That could be sad for Adelaide. Here's Kalansis, bit of room. Kalansis brought down, free kick in prime country. And there might be a card here for Hassel. He appeals that the player dived and may have been a, an inkling. But in fact, it was Manillo, the man bringing the player down. Just warned, Hassel was the man hassling. Look, no doubt in my mind that that's a free kick, but good refereeing, I think. You, you called it there, Pete. That is a little bit of acting there by Chris. He's very good at it, plenty of experience, but as we see, no question that it was a free kick and Kalantis could get something from this. And Kalantis, might he have for this strike? Cardozo on the left, Kalantis on the right, on the left curling foot. And it goes to Kalantis and the save from Petkovic. Not the weight of the shot and mutely watching on Zion Matic again. I'm not sure he'd be entirely unhappy with proceedings today. Adelaide City have made several chances. They've looked good on the ball. Maybe a couple of times in defence. He might be questioning his men. And look at the shots on goal now. Nine to two in favour of Olympic. Well, Zoran Matic has got so much experience, though. He normally only smiles on his birthday, I think, but what a coach what a character and what an absolute legend for australian soccer as far as the coaching fraternity are concerned that man is well a good chase back from tomo he's everywhere today manila had made the run down the left but look at tomo and then nods it away again look out if he's sprinting 50 meters downfield to get involved cardozo neat skills with the bouncing ball Kalantzis, a supreme effort to kalina in the center of zemerton a great acrobatic skills to keep the ball in and they might win it back to cardozo a victory for sheer persistence for sydney olympic here goes emerton emerton now with the oh, he can't get the blast beautifully robbed by hassel stoic defending and adelaide city come away with it terrific stuff both in attack and defense oh that's a beautiful tackle got it on his favorite left foot this time but that is a beautiful copybook tackle that slid in and got the ball right in front of the referee the crowd obviously looking for something but no way in the world there was anything there except brilliant defending now sydney olympic emerton starting to make his presence felt middle and forward Urich to brennan kalantz is doing a lot of roving at the moment as they go back to blagojevic and sydney olympic really getting the confidence levels up they lead still one nil sakenis thomas and look at them pull them wide through Juric. Across in cover to Manello. But in the centre, it's back to him at it again. Kalina comes to him. Thomas. Blagojevic is stretching them wide again. Kalansis, the touch on. Where's the bounce? Petkovic handles it comfortably. But no gripes from the coaching bench from anywhere in the Olympic supporting ranks for that very presentable move forward by the sydney olympic team and just converting those earlier shots you mentioned peter the shots on target from those sydney olympic five on target adelaide city just the one but we've seen it too many times haven't we you only need one shot on target or two and you can get a goal and unfortunately sometimes that's the way our great game goes you're rich Again, plenty of runs coming off the ball. Sakenis, it was almost at his feet. Vian pumping a beautiful ball to Mori. Danger here. It just ran away from him a bit, but it's still there for Mori. Two on one. Who's coming in the centre? Oh, brilliant near post run coming from the Adelaide City side. A fine excursion forward that he's done more than once today, David Terminello. But Damian Mori again, as he's often done this afternoon. Oh, that's a great ball in. Usually Murray's on the end of those, but this time he's the provider. And we've got a corner now, and here's an opportunity, after all the earlier pressure from Olympic, for Adelaide City to get something. Now Taladira, a lofty far post ball, and that won't bring a smile to the face of Zoran Matic. That's a wasted effort after such good pressure. Especially when you've got nearly eight players in the box there, isn't it, Peter? Very much so a wasted effort, and Alex Tobin, was one of those men forward and the skipper will certainly be looking to have a chat 
at half time along with obviously Zorin to resurrect things and obviously come out and go for this game. Still plenty of time now in the first half, but I wouldn't be surprised if they go to the bench a little earlier than normal in the second half. Hamilton, well won. Not much on. Good release to Kalina, Blagojevic. Blagojevic wants the other side of the park as he sees about six or seven Adelaide City shirts in front. Yurich looping out in front. Brennan, the run comes from him. And now, is there a chance in the centre for Tomei or for Cardozo? No. Might have another dig. Franco Kalina to his feet. Pretty excited about proceedings. Yurich. Kalansis. Kalansis. And nodded away quite comfortably by Manilo. Well, they just need runners in there, don't they, the, the Sydney Olympic forwards? They've got to run and attack that ball. You can't blame the men distributing the cross every time. Well, Ivanovic with a raid forward, but it might have left them a bit short at the back. They attack now through Cardozo. And Tomei's there, tries the chip, no. There's plenty of height in Petkovic. In fact, uh, 196 centimetres. He pretty much covers that area. And Mori just caught offside. He doesn't agree. Referee quick to intervene. But he didn't have much on in his defence as we watch this. Well, ball it's very forward. hard from that angle, but Morrie certainly had something to say to the linesman. I'd have to agree that it was so close and hard to pick, but as we said earlier, one day soon, today for Adelaide City's sake, he'll get one of those right and get on the end of something. Thomas to Tomei. Kalina. A bit more chasing from Adelaide City. Kalina bustles away again. Numbers everywhere for Olympic. Emerton, beautiful touch. Kalina again. Can he get another shot on goal? Finally, it's Alex Tobin who says, I've had enough of this. He comes in to hoist it downfield. Olympic one, Adelaide City nil. And Peter, if I can just add, uh, Jason Petkovic, uh, he, re he did release the ball by hand a couple of minutes ago and he did kick one out straight away. They cannot afford, they've got to erase those sorts of uh, errors in giving possession away so easily. I mean, they're being forced by an outplayed uh, Olympic outfit. They must just try and put their foot on the ball and start knocking it around, but that is just not happening. Yurich, uh, 62%, that ex that's extraordinary for a game, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is extraordinary at this early stage as well. And really, the conversion of the early goal is what's happened. They've had to sit back and contain, and that's what Adelaide City can do now. And obviously, you'd say at this stage, if they don't get something before half-time, they'll look to snatch a point at the end if it remains 1-0. Taladira to Manilo, back to Ivanovic. Yates is wide, and Kim, well, he's been all on his lonesome out on that right sideline. Kim. Such a good professional though, Kim, isn't he? He does a good marking job all the time. We saw it early, earlier in the year against Lozanowski for South Melbourne. And today, he's always been given the busy task, either on the left or the right. Today on the right, sometimes on the left. Well, the ball was meant for him. Kalansis has it. Emerton, the release, a bit ordinary. But it's still there for Olympic. Emerton, Kalansis back to receive. Emerton, oh, just wide. It was a speculator. It grabbed the fingertips of Petkovic. I think it gave him an absolute nightmare as it slithered wide. Well, it slithered wide and nearly slithered under his body. That's amazing, especially when Emerton gets a ball on his right foot because his right foot's not much better than mine was. He's a great left-footed striker, the ball. And if that had gone in, Big Jason would have been very embarrassed. Well, now the corner and a lofty effort. Tomei was up, one of the smallest men. Yates protected that neck of the woods, but they're going to get another stab from the other side, and Kalina will curl this one in. The imposing figure of Hunter Urich waiting on the far post to do a few runs. Never seen as to end up on his head. Kalansis is there, Tomei. And now... It goes, oh, mistimed leap. Well, the breeze must be something down there. Petkovic ran for it. 
mistimed it completely and then it just flicked your fingertips. Well, there's Matthew Breeze and probably the obvious Breeze and maybe a bit of sunshine because I don't know what the problem is. Here it comes again, floating, <laughs> and he just punches it out this time, Petkovic. The horror story continues. Thomas uh, to Emerton. Emerton can't knock the ball down just at the moment. It's still there for Emerton. Did he get the shot on the left? But he does. It's intercepted, though, by... Adelaide City and hooked away. Taladera was the man responsible at the end, but, gee, what happened back there? Petkovic will not be replaying that three or four minutes of tape. Cardozo. Well, he's a quality goalie, the 26-year-old, but certainly the conditions are causing havoc, aren't they, for him at the moment? More pressure coming for Adelaide City as they push most of the team behind the ball. Yeah, I think that's a little lucky, I'd, I'd say, for Olympic to get a free kick there. I thought he got the leg in. And Armas showed his disappointment there. But Pekovic certainly looks concerned again, doesn't he? I tend to agree with you. In any case, they have the free kick, half-time approaching. And what's the variation this time? It's Kalina! Oh, a meaty strike. That is a good strike. He hit it well, but I'm not happy with the wall there. I'll be having questions to the referee. If he's 10 metres there, I'm an astronaut. No way in the world. You've got to ask for the 10 metres. Take your time and settle it down a bit, boys. Good strike, though, Jason. If you get those on target, the way Pekovic looks nervous at the moment, anything can happen. Well, now, one-on-one, -on -one, Thomas, with that man marking today. The grab comes from Murray. The free kick goes Scotty Thomas's way. Blagojevic. Kalina. Taladira, sloppy ball. Kalansis has it. Plenty of Adelaide City defenders back. Beautiful elusive skills for Kalansis. Nestles it wide onto the feet of Tomei. Emerton. Let's take our time. Brennan and Sakenis. Kalansis exploring a lot of the park at the moment. Sydney Olympic doing it on their ear is the second coming for Sydney Olympic. Sakenis looking for the far post. And Cardozo can't quite beat two desperate defenders. Kim and also Manilo. Gee. More nightmares and another corner. Well, you notice what happens when your goalkeeper is not at his brilliant best. The defenders have to start sitting back and trying to win everything in the air and as much as they can on the ground, and that causes problems. 6-2, the corners for Sydney Olympic. And this one is another tough effort, punched away. Not as effective, well, more effective than the previous one, but not as effective as you would like. Sakenis, quick throw. They want to keep the pressure on. I think they feel they've got them on the rack and another goal before half-time will make it very difficult. Kalansis, a useful ball into the centre. He was looking for Urich. Viet is battling to control the ball and that gives time for Olympic to hurry back and close anything down. And they are getting back in numbers too. And so Adelaide City stall on that right edge of the field. Yeah, that was good stalling. Well played there by Carl Viet former Crystal Palace and Sheffield United player. And Adelaide City will be looking for the likes of him and some of the more experienced players to really lift in this second half and the remaining first. Beautiful flick on by Emerton. Well, must have been an optical illusion. It looked as though it was going right at Kalansis' feet for a moment. So the idea was right. Here's maybe, Ivanovic. Sorry, Pete, maybe that's Jason's problem. He's have, having optical illusions because the, the conditions are causing him problems. Now here's Mori away. A chance for one all. What's the strike light from Mori? A beautiful block coming in from Bahutsis. And he was well hemmed to that near post by the scurrying Scotty Thomas tasting back. He had a lot of room. But credit to Thomas for really making his task difficult. Well, that was quality there. Mori, that is the danger. He did everything right there, Murray, and so did Thomas. And Bahutsis, he was the final person to get it all right, <laughs> timed it well, and cut off the angle. 
And now hooked in by Manillo. Moy can't find it. There's Kim, the long ranger from Hassel. It doesn't take any sort of deflection. And it's away by Blagojevic. Blagojevic again. Maybe a chance on the break here. Emerton first time ball offside against Tomei. And the Olympic supporters look ruefully at that moment. Well, there's no doubt it was an offside, but good play, end-to-end -end stuff. And once again, we've got to highlight the danger. If you don't get that second goal, there's always something in it for the opposition, even if they haven't looked dangerous, as we saw from Murray a little earlier, Pete. A couple of minutes to go before the break. Rob Wheatley, are we going to see any substitutions, do you think, or not before half-time? Well, it's not been a real matter of warming up here this afternoon, Peter, but uh, all substitutes benches have been moving it doesn't look like any sign of that i just don't think this first half can happen uh, more quickly for <laughs> Adelaide city so they can have a chat and reorganize tobin and ivanovich and yates is wide with kim out on that right side mori on one touch again brings the clearance from olympic tobin with the header down might come for kim And it's play on, quickly taken. Yates down the right. Mori, they're looking for Mori. Far post to Manilo. The header into the centre. Who's there? No one. And Kim just getting back to his feet there. Looked like he got a bit of a knock in the right knee as he went in for that 50-50 ball. Well, he's going to run it out here. Emberton's going to test him. He claps on the pace. Good chasing back by Kim. In the centre, Cardozo and also Tomei. Oh, Emerton, strong. On the twist again. And almost an own goal from Yates. Yeah, good skills there from both players. Kim initially getting it, but Yates just not getting enough to put it in his own net, if I have to say it like that. Great skills, though. Emerton really tested Kim. Kim only started playing soccer when he was 13 years old, as a lot of Koreans do. But certainly a quality professional, and you've got to really work hard to get around him. He's such a good pro and a quality defender as we see Pekovic with the little mark on the nose from an earlier incident. Another dangerous corner. Oh, Tomo with a rattling header across the face of goal again. And the little man found his way in there. The dive was a beauty. Just wide, right on half time. Cracking game from Olympic in this first half. This will bring the fans in and back and some disturbance in the crowd. The Brazilian trooper motoring along one of the walkways at Belmore Sports Ground. They seem to follow us around the music people, Peter, from week to week. Now Adelaide City, can they gain something from the first half? Viet, the tackle back is a messy one. And the referee's going to say half time, it doesn't matter. Colancis retreats. Chris Colancis, who a couple of weeks ago sported a bit of stubble on the chin making him look a bit like Chris Christopherson in his old days but he has he has cleaned it up a little bit half time at Belmore and City troop back out onto the field a smallish crowd here at the Belmore sports ground but I'm sure they're glad they came along today because they're seeing Sydney Olympic in full cry only one goal and as we were summing up before the half time break indeed Adelaide City might have pinched one back. They're looking to keep on their magnificent home record of no defeats this year. And Adelaide City a little bit disappointing at times away from home. They've succumbed to a couple of, in their eyes, inferior opponents. And despite that, they're still well placed on the table. There's Mori waiting, thinking, hoping, probably expecting to score today. He'd normally do that. So 45 minutes of action in front of us and Mr. Breeze looks one way than the other. And then we'll have it. So 1-0 to Olympic and Adelaide City. And I wonder what Zoran Matic has conjured up at half time. Tomei. Having a superb game so far with a neat release out into the right side and chasing back. Chasing back to close down 
Cardozo. Plenty of Adelaide City shirts. Was my mic on there when I did the stats? All right, we had a good look at those statistics of play before. I think we might have. Okay, we watch the game now as uh, Olympic. Blagojevic. And it comes to Tomei almost. Two deflections, it seemed, off Adelaide City defenders, Yates and Ivanovic. A near post ball, and Adelaide City think a bit lethargic in defence in the first couple of moments of the second half. Chalina says, where's the goal? Petkovic says, where's the defence? Well, that is a good ball in. When you've got three defenders, though, you expect something to happen there, and unfortunately, Adelaide City are looking a little lethargic, Pete. You got it right on the button. Now the far post ball, and Petkovic this time makes a clean grab out of the sky. And the ball away to Viet, out of play. Rob Wheatley, what's happening? A quick chat uh, then to the Olympic people as they came out, and uh, Branko really, his summary at halftime was centred around not wanting to get exposed at the back. At this stage, he is constantly aware of the pace of Damien Moran. He said to Thomas, just give yourself a little bit uh, of space and time and yardage against him in that one-to-one -one battle. He's particularly happy with the running that is taking place, and uh, as we see, Chris Colantis just pulled up there, and the free kick to Olympic. Very happy with the work rate at this stage, Peter. Is Kalina sailing the ball in for Juric? It's still there. A laid back for Kalansis. Well away by Viet. Well, at least away. It's going to bring Olympic back into the attack again. Yeah, just getting back to that free kick. I couldn't actually see what that was for, to be honest. A little, little bit of play acting as we see Zoran Matic cleverly taking a, a bit of fluid there in these hot conditions. Cardozo. Good skills. Nice release to Brennan. And Kalina really pulling them wide again. And that's taken a little deflection. Falls handily. Great nod back. And Tomei. Kalina couldn't find the ball again. And it's hooked away by Viet. Here's Juric. So the game just lacking a little bit of form and shape in the opening moments of the second half. 1-0 to Olympic. Beautiful ball forward. Well, for a moment it looked as though it was a good ball. But Kim with a nice zippy bit of pace forced Emerton to grab onto him. Maybe Kim likes that side of the field because he was playing down that edge in the first half. He swapped. I think um, more so that Zoran Matic may be not happy with some of the defensive work going on and Kim might be the man to sew it up for them. Here's Hassel. Well, it also, also shows Matic's faith in Kim. He's such a good defender. Cardozo, beautiful back heel. Tomei couldn't get the touch in. Kalansis, and he's tackled. In that other game, which features quite regularly at this ground, Rugby League. Well, once again, it's a bit of a 50-50 there. Both players going for the ball, but I think Chris is doing a very good job there of imitating someone that's looking for a Logie Award at times, and the referees fell for it. Emerton. Kalansis doesn't fall for Emerton. Well, he's going to make it his again. <laughs> Great running from Emerton. When will the meter expire on his fitness today, I wonder? He's going well, Emerton, after just a slightly lethargic start, although he was running off the ball. But, uh, good chase there and good groping and hustling with David Terminello. He's Peter quick. Just Sorry, Peter, just talking about the fitness barometer, the Olympic coaching staff feel that if Norman Tome and Chris Kalantis really don't last too much longer, they could be the uh, ones that emerge as likely substitutes. So we'll be following that pattern in the next 15 minutes. Well, well you'd have to say the way the side's going, you wouldn't be inclined to change too much just at the moment. And well, due to match fitness, sorry, Pete, they'll be the obvious too, as we, we said earlier in the game. But the tactics now have got to be get forward more and get that second goal. They can't just expect to sit back here and win this game 1-0. Because Adelaide City are one of the most pedigree sides in the competition. And that's suicide to do that against a team like that. And especially against someone of Damien Murray's prowess in front of goals. 
Sakinis, Juric and Brennan. In tries an Adelaide City type ball forward. And a little free kick for a nudge. Which is queried. Maybe rightly so by Carlo Talladera. Well, I'd certainly query it. The ball comes in nicely. Kalantis goes up, gets it on the chest, and I can't see anything there at all, to be honest. If anything, a handball on the turn. Will the shot come from Kalina? The ricochet away. And well done by Viet. Claps on the pace downfield. Hamilton, the sliding challenge. And now Adelaide City break down the left side. Here's the veteran. Not one of his best balls forward. Urich away. Now they're going to have to scurry back here because Olympic have got some numbers in the middle of the park, although they don't elect to go there just at the moment. Brennan. Offside. Not sure quite how, but it must have been right on the edge of proceedings. It was nearly a great ball, though, wasn't it? You mentioned, Peter, that one from Ivanovic forward. As we see, the offside's coming up now. Four to two, or possibly five now, I think, for Adelaide City, as we mentioned at half time. They will look to get Murray through one on one as much as they can. Now, Bogoyevic, Sakanis. You can still see the confidence oozing from the pools of this Olympic side. They are in control of this game, but they don't want to bring themselves unstuck by resting on it as Allen was underlining Sakanis again. Look at the midfield now. It's all theirs at the moment. A beautiful one-two back to Kalantis from Emerton. A bit tardy on the shot. Sakanis to Cardozo to Kalina. Kalina. He won't be shy. The shot brilliantly saved in the end. Oh, Jason Kalina with a curling, swerving effort. And Petkovic, who had his moments in the first half. Well, it's Jason against Jason. And a matter of time there. They really had, could have had a strike on the earlier opportunity, but that's a good save, and that'll do his confidence a world of good. Well, Kalina's been responsible for some great strikes in the game today. Three come to mind. One particularly, but I think we put that one alongside it. And now we see the corners. Nine to three, far post ball, dangerous Emerton there, but Petkovic clutches the ball from his waiting kneecap or head or foot or chest or thigh. Well, he hasn't got the cap on, so you would suggest give him the benefit of the doubt in the first half. The sun and the wind must have played a big factor. Here's Kim, a lot of space on the left. First time ball looking for Viet, not one of his best. He had a bit of space out there on the left too, Kim, and... Uh, didn't fall for Adelaide City in the end. Now, good release to Kalina. He holds it up nicely. Cardozo needed to go to him initially, but it's still there for Olympic. Here's Kalina charging. Where's the support? The numbers back for Adelaide City. Very tight man-on-man -man marking from them at this stage. But really, that first time, or at least a quickly after first time, ball was required in that instance from Kalina, although it is easy to play the game from up here. But Cardozo had made the space. Here's Kalina with the throw. Kalantis hurries about. Cardozo, Kalantis, Kalina. Oh, Kalantis offside. Gee, good call from the far side. Yeah, no doubt it was offside then. Kalantis looking to get into the referee's good books again with a bit of a dive. I think he's got to be careful. Well, oh, here's Emerton. He's got goal written all over him. Will he lay it off? He does so too. And there's a chance on the hook. Oh, straight at the target. But straight into the arms of the goalkeeper from the little number seven again. And Emerton, with that great presence that he has on the ball today, and not exclusively today, but he does look the man most likely, and maybe it will be a reluctant interchange when it does happen. We might go again. Cardozo and Kalina. Now Emerton, will he make the run? No, it just holds off. Kalina again. Attacks at pace. The ball into the centre to Cardozo. Cardozo! Great shot! It's still there for Tumo! And off the leg again, and here's Cardozo! It's in the back of the net! Third time lucky! And the season's leading scorer goes to 10! Strikes a goal. It was like a pinball machine coming back. Sydney Olympic 2, Adelaide City 0.
and some cracking attempts at goal. Oh, great shot here from the lipstick cam. Great touch there by Pekovic onto the crossbar as we see the first one. Look at that. Brilliant to get a touch. Gets in for the rebound. Don't know how he didn't get it. A strange way to play one too, though. Back to your teammate. And what a goal. First time unlucky, second time he made sure. Beautiful skills all round. Crowd loves it. Entertainment plus. What a save. What a great strike off the <laughs> post. Bang. Gets in the rebound. Look at that. 2-0. 9 to 2. Shots on goal. And two goals to nil. What a game. The atmosphere is ready to go, Peter. <laughs> well, it is going wrong, Wheatley. That was explosive. And the, the ball off the post. And... I think uh, with, a, with a touch of, uh, well, I wouldn't say sadness, but disappointment, certainly uh, the Olympics' leading scorer of all time, Tomo, watched it go off the post and then to the feet of the season's leading scorer. Well, the partnership, the pinball uh, effect uh, really had the uh, Olympic crowd here and that chant of Olympic, Olympic has gone up more regularly. And far post and there's a chance, a oh, great save from Bahutsis! Well, apologies to Adelaide City as the ball went all the way down the other end and a terrific attempt in the end by Terminello off the Yates cross. Oh, and a beautiful cross it was too. Out swinging, pinpoint range there and what a save. What a save by Hootsis. With the cap on, certainly the Suns playing a big factor there. Fantastic stuff. The game's opening right up again and just confirming that's Cardozo's 11th goal of the season. The battle continues and... I think Damien Murray will certainly be a part of that battle. If not today, certainly when the end of the season gets closer. Now here's Kina. He's had a, an enormous game today. Look at that little chip forward to Cardozo. Cooley to Emerton. Well, they're toying with him at the moment. He might try a strike. He does. No great power in the shot, although he's looking to cool it around the keeper. 2-0 to Sydney Olympic over Adelaide City. Coming up to the 58-minute mark of this match. Here's Tomei again. And he's beaten Alex Tobin, the Australian Socceroo captain. And Nick Layoff, and the strike hums over the bar. Oh, terrific effort. As Blagojevic made a rare excursion down the right side of the park and out of his chair. And Great strike. And as you said, Alex Tobin having to mark two players there. And look at that. The stats tell it all, don't they? Shots on goal, 20 now. And I'd just about say half of those have been on target. It's like shooting practice out there for Jason Pekovic. Well, where's Damian Mori in the second half? And Adelaide City looking to try and get Manilo forward on the left and Matic fuming. The shirt's beautifully crisp and neat, as is the hairstyle, but the brows are a little bit ruffled. They need ironing out. Well, the Petty, you asked where Damian Mori is. I think Zoran Matic is pinpointing and saying where are the rest of the players, his midfield particularly, there's a too many floaters really in that Adelaide City lineup at this stage that just aren't competing. Well, look at Kalina. He could run all day. He must be close to the man of the match at this early stage. But uh, there'd be a few candidates in this Olympic side. Kalina down the right side with two. Can he gain something from this little trap? Uh, that might be a free kick against him for a... An untidy hook from behind. Well, he must be confident. He backed himself against two very good players and one very experienced one, being Milan Ivanovic, to try and get a corner or a, or a throw in there. A little bit early, possibly, but no question, Kalina has been a very big player for Olympic. A very good team performance, though, hasn't it been today? Absolutely. Damien Morrow, though, look what happens. He starts coming too deep. We heard Matic having a go at his players, and I'm sure he said to Morrow, get up front, that's where you're going to get the goals. Well, here's Emerton. And it's one on five, it was for a moment. Emerton might chance his skills here. The one-two not quite paying off. And uh, Viet likes to get forward, Viet, but he's uh, doing a lot of work back to try and stem the tide of this Olympic attack. Kalansis, casual. It comes free for Olympic, as it tends to do when it goes with you, when, you, when you're making the play. Kalina stretching them wide, Blagojevic, Sakenis again. He's been a cool, understated member of this side today. And another chance comes for Cardozo on the left foot, and that might have been target-bound. Tomo wants another one, and so too Kalina. 
And Adelaide City gets some respite here. And Alex Tobin wide to Ivanovic. And now to Kim again. And they might do well to try and exploit the left side because Kim has, to his credit, been loitering in places of few people. They really haven't got the ball to him. Now, well, that's pretty harmless, isn't it? Forward from Dino Manillo. And if they don't get numbers forward, especially Damien Murray, Adelaide City, they'll remain harmless as they pick up a free kick here. Forward's possibly a handball. There's times there where there's three Olympic players against one. And at 2-0, you're no chance of getting anything out of this trip if you remain playing that way, as far as I'm concerned. Sydney Olympic now 40 times in the, in the opposition's penalty area. Adelaide City only 17, just to clarify that. Now, Murray's waiting over the ball. We try and curl it near post. You can see a hole there, I think. Or will he look for a man far post? No, it goes to Kim, and Kim's ricochet. Comes off Scott Thomas, and we'll see the corner. And that's a classic sign today. Sydney Olympic charging everything down. Adelaide City just giving them another opportunity there to charge that down. They really should have got that straight into the box, I felt. They need a goal here, Adelaide City. Trailing by two. Olympic a lot back. Another variation. Caladera. It should be Bahutsis' ball. And despite the sun that is. And now look on the break. It's four against two in favour of Olympic. And Ivanovic might find he has a lot to contend with here. They don't want to get offside. They try the fancy work out to the left to Cardozo. Cardozo looking for the curling spectacular chip a little bit selfishly. But Goyevich waiting unattended on the far post. And so too a couple of other Olympic players. Yeah, great skills. They just got caught there forward Adelaide City from the corner. Cardozo possibly too much time. He'll look back at that and say, oh, gee, I should have got that on the left foot and got something on target. Because as you said, there was numbers in the box waiting for something, if not a rebound. And now Terminello, who's been thrust into a more forward role in the second half. And now there's a yellow card coming for Scott Thomas, who has been posted like glue on Damian Murray today by Branko Kalina. And he earns himself a yellow card for the foul off the ball. So good peripheral vision by Mr. Breeze to pick that particular incident up. Olympic 2, Adelaide City nil. Well, he's ambitious, Mr. Breeze. One of his ambitions is to referee the World Cup. And I'll tell you what, great vision, as you said, Peter, to pick that one up. He didn't kill him, but he certainly got him down on his back there and had no option but to pull out the yellow card. He nominates sleeping as one of his favourite relaxations. Well, the ball comes in and away just as quickly. But he hasn't been anything but sleeping today. He's had to be on his toes right from the word go. Come, 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 Sydney Olympic, 2-0 in front. We can smell the victory today. There's a nice breeze blowing across the ground. I guess the afternoon's getting a little bit cooler. And there's Kim again. Look at the space he's found. The ball wasn't good to him, though. It gave plenty of time for Blagojevic, but if... Some of his teammates could feel him as a player. Adelaide City might be going a little better. Because as you said, Rob, the middle of the park, been a few players missing. Seems to be an area that Torrin Manage is looking at. Nick Sabiak is uh, probably the most prominent player warming up the city. Not it away by Thomas. Yates now, can he put one in the back of the net? Beautiful ball to Veard. Can he get the shot on target? No, it ricochets for a corner. Carl Veard will be extremely disappointed. He had two moments when he could have made it 2-1. The first time he neglected to take the option. And the second time, well, it found its way off the body of Urich for a corner. Possibly a little unlucky, but a, a fortunate fall there for Carl Veard. Did well to turn quickly and get a shot, but it all came from poor communication between Bohutsis and the Olympic defence. Well, now on the break again, Emerton set to scatter them. Now hustling down the left is Kalina. Two on two currently. Emerton, will he go all the way to the target? No to Kalina. Now Kalina sizes up the situation. And it's taken away. Well, the numbers were coming. 
And this is a key time now for Olympic. They've got to try and get that third goal as we see Zoran off the bench again. Not happy, obviously. And I'll be very surprised if he waits too much longer before he goes to that bench. Be looking for a different plane home tonight if they can see another goal, wouldn't you, with the darkness of his face. It's matched some of the thundercloud we've seen in Sydney over the last few weeks on occasions. Well, you can count on one time the amount of games that Adelaide City concede more than two goals, I'd say. Very rare. And we can see Pekovic and some of the more experienced leaders like Ivanovic and Tobin really starting to get involved verbally in this game as well. Not just with the opposition, but their own teammates. Just a little push in the back there, was it, Pete? It looked that way. Now we watch Emerton. Trying to entice Cardozo. And a good chase back from Emerton, but it falls for the Adelaide City side. Is there something on for Manillo? The chase back is good. It's still for Adelaide City. Now to Viet. Viet to Hassel. Hassel looking for Viet again, and a telling stab by Mark Brennan. Takes the ball out of the clutches of this Adelaide City side, and they were scouring for a goal to get back into the game. And just confirming that stat I mentioned before, this is the first time Adelaide City have conceded two goals away this season. Now, there's the high ball for Hassel. And hooked over the bar, just wide of the bar in track by Manillo. And we're about to see a substitution. And it is, in fact, Dino Manillo, it looks to be, coming off. And Sabiak. I think we've got uh, Nick Sabiak coming on and not uh, Lachlan Campbell, as, as indicated on your screen there. But Nick Sabiak, the 19-year-old, will come to see if he can make some impact on this game. Rob Wheatley. Well, I tell you what, the main impact that a lot of Olympic supporters, uh, supporters are looking at at the moment as Dino Manillo exits the scene is the fact that uh, Olympic, if they're victorious today, will move ahead of Adelaide City and in uh, equal position with Marconi and with a Sydney Cup challenge on at the moment between all the Sydney-based NSL clubs. That certainly heightens expectations in the next four weeks. Well, it's an old, ideal time as well to make two or three substitutions because Adelaide City, the way they're going through the motions here at the moment, they, they need, probably need six subs on the bench to try and inspire something. I just have to say that because I don't like to see teams being negative when they're 2-0 down. You've got to have a go. Otherwise, just leave the two guys at home. Save the airfares, Pete. Yes, sir, Kenneth. And Blagojevic, who we thought was going to play a more central role today, but he's been operating on the right, and that's enabled that man-on-man situation in the middle with Scott Thomas on the number seven. Now Adelaide City trying to break again, but Sydney Olympic, the enthusiasm meter is very high. Kalina, good ball to Tomei again. Adelaide City, plenty of men back. They might need them. They need a few more at the other end of the field as Alex Tobin can't get it away. Tomei still with him. And Tobin will have the throw in. He's ready. Just bring my feet, John. And now Savinsky about to make his debut for Olympic as the shot doesn't come in the centre and the hook across the face of goal to no avail. Okay. And Pekovic certainly letting his troops at the back know that that's sloppy stuff. Emerton had a little bit of time there. Possibly could have got something on target. And the crowd really warming to it again. And another wasted ball forward by Adelaide City. Now Adrian Savinsky, the 25-year-old. <laughs> Carlton, the Melbourne Knights, Wollongong City. And as we told you earlier this afternoon, he had that injury in the pre-season that prevented him playing in any game to date. He broke a vertebrae and 
flipped over awkwardly. And he's ready to come on. And a good time, really, to introduce him to the action as Bohutsis saves the ball. So there's no corner. With the Olympic leading 2-0, they're on a roll. It's a good time to come into a game, really. It's a bit like a, a one-day match if your side's at uh, one for 180 in the 40th over. Fantastic. Time to come in. Oh, absolutely, Peter. Fantastic time to make your debut, especially when you're mentally a little bit concerned, you'd have to say, about that injury we mentioned. Emerton bull-like at Viet, almost ran over him like a tram. He's going to get the free kick. Another 50-50 call going in favour of Sydney Olympic. Well, a little bit lucky, I think. 50-50 ball, and the crowd really ecstatic about seeing Savinsky finally back on the track, let's say, Peter. He's a quality player, has scored some great goals, and it's lovely to see him back after a, a nasty injury. And I'm sure his brother, who plays down at Carlton, will be very happy to see him back as well. Now Kalina. Nice curling effort too, and it almost comes to Safinski for what would have been a meteoric start with a one-touch goal. He was at the far post, the ball just about came to him. And the score remains 2-0. And Brett Emberton's having such a wow of a game that Kalina might be inclined to leave him on for the remaining 18 or so minutes of play today. And why wouldn't you, Peter? I can tell you the conditions now here are absolutely perfect. That breeze is still light and coming uh, across the ground. But uh, as you can see, well shaded now. And the players and Olympic really should go on with this in uh, some good style. And uh, as I said, that'll lift them into the top four. That's their short-term aim. If they're going to make an impact on this season's competition. Conditions are so good, you'd like to get out there yourself, wouldn't you, Rob? Well, let's the not pitch. go too far. The pitch, the weather. Mind you, you'd be putting on a Sydney Olympic shirt, shirt I guess, and not an Adelaide City one. Here you go, Olympic again. A beautiful touch around the man from Emerton. He explodes down the right. Men queuing up in the centre. Far post as Tomei. He can't quite nod it back to the waiting troops in the middle, Cardozo and also Savinsky grinning all round. They might want to take their all off the ball though. Adelaide City have got themselves into one or two very good goal scoring situations. There's Kim again in space and if they can pull one back maybe there'll be a momentum shift. You couldn't see it happening. But 2-0 as we well know was quite a, an historic score in Australian football and one that we'd care not to reflect on more than we have to. But we've seen funny things happening in the world game, haven't we, Peter? And certainly Adelaide City have got some players there that will have to lift to provide a goal, but two goals, you'd say, at this stage is certainly out of the question. But just getting back to Emerton, he's got a lot of football as he gets the ball there. He's got the Koreans again on Friday night down in Melbourne, and certainly the young lad will be well tested. His character, his mental character, and his physical attributes. Done quite well today and possibly used to going past Koreans in just nipping past Kim on the odd occasion. Savinsky. The skills are there. Blagojevic. And Kalina exploring all parts of this Belmore sports ground this afternoon. So to Emerton. And you can feel another goal more in this Olympic side than one in Adelaide City. Blagojevic, good header. And away by Brennan. He's another understated member of this Sydney Olympic defensive lineup. Just been reasonably secure today. Too much has gone wrong. Urich and Thomas with his role. Well, you haven't seen Murray in the second half, so of course you can't entirely lay the credit at the feet of Thomas. The Adelaide City midfield might have to take some responsibility. But Mehmet Jurakovic will be sitting here watching this and smiling, obviously. Not just because of the result, but it gives him some comfort. Beautiful ball forward to Sakinas now. Can he get the shot on goal or will he hold it up? Someone at the far post is there. Almost an own goal by Viet. And Pablo Cardozo, hands on hips, was waiting for the tap-in. 
quality stuff there. So Kenneth did well to just glide past his marker. And that's a beautiful ball in and well cut out, as you said, by Veert. Because Tomei, for once, was waiting just to bang that one in. Possibly could have just jumped in and banged it in quickly. But the wind seems to be picking up as this corner approaches from Kalina. Maybe they'll be looking for Emerton, far post. And who's there? Another untidy punch away. Doesn't clear the area, or at least the finds the, the feet of Hassel. And now Viet, space in front. Mori forced to come back and loses the momentum. And back to Hassel again from Viet. Rad Hassel puts it back into the middle of the field to Carlo Caladera, 27-year-old. And we work it away to Alex Tobin, the 33-year-old, playing for several more seasons in the game kim well that'll be a yellow card peter that one very late invites the foul and very late indeed kim professional as he is gets past there oh. no need for those tackles in our game the card did come out didn't it rob yeah it certainly did there it does it goes back in the pocket again he was like wide up there he got it out that quick mm. unbelievable good decision Yates. Not much on in the middle of the park. Nice touch on in the centre. Coming from Taladira. And here's Ivanovic. Terminello. Tobin. Where is it for Adelaide City? Where's the way through? Where's the one goal that can give them some light? With the possibility of snatching a draw. There's one period in the first half, about 10 or 12 minutes worth, where Adelaide City poured it on. Some of the through balls were fighting the mark. Mori was lurking. But since then, it's been absolutely dominated by Sydney Olympic. Beautiful ball to Cardozo, or from Cardozo to Kalina. Take it to the byline. Well, Adelaide City, they're forced to pull men back to stem the tide of the Olympic attacks, and that's leaving big gaping holes in the midfield. They can't, uh, they can't feed Mori up front. And Olympic have it sewn up. Well, Peter, I think you're aware that Branko Kalina, the Olympic coach, said this was a real litmus test, this game against quality opposition at home. Just they proved Scotty, they can beat some of the lesser lights, but uh, today was very important, and I think in the overall sphere of things, they've proved themselves that they can be up amongst the top sides against uh, this result. Here's Terminello. And he really had to beat the man and get the ball into the centre and fight it in the back of the net. Time ticking away. 11 and a half minutes to go. Oh, great decision. He's so easy to pick in those lovely white boots. Milan. They've been very strong at the back. Obviously, they've had to readjust, as we said, with Jurakovic being out for two weeks with the hamstring strain. But I was trying to say earlier that he'll be comforted by the fact that they're playing so well and looking quite sharp at the halfway mark of the season. Savinsky from Emerton. Kalina back to Urich. Well, not quite double the uh, possession stats for the game, but certainly enough to cause some concern. But the minutes in possession. And Savinsky with just a glancing header wide of the target. So repeat, minutes converted from that city olympic 41 minutes of possession to adelaide city's 25. so it's top heavy as we look to see another substitution now scott bailey comes onto the field 28 year old And Norm Tomei was the obvious substitution due to his match fitness, lack of games. But he's done a great job today. If he can improve 10 or 15% after being out for a little while from injury, that's all you can be asked for from the coach. Well, Blagojevic and the referee going with a shirt grab against Pablo Cardozo. Inside the last 10 minutes, Olympic 2, Adelaide City nil. 
Welcome to all our viewers right around Australia and indeed uh, to Tim Marsden and the gang up there watching at the Kowloon Hotel. Good afternoon to you. Good to have you on board today. I understand you enjoy the NSL from Australia every week. Another little foul there. Introduction to Mr Bailey. Just a little bit overzealous, trying to impress, obviously, which is great. You've just got to be careful. Viet, wicked curling ball for a fleeting moment, and then it just sort of harmlessly went over the back post. But Viet, I think, has been one of Adelaide City's best this afternoon. He's been forced back and still managed to get forward on, on many occasions and present something for, for Mori. And obviously, Olympic, if they win here today, they'll go to seven wins. The same as Adelaide City. They've scored 17 goals now in the seven home games to date. It's not happening. But both teams have got a similar problem away from home, haven't they, Peter? Mm. Sydney Olympic having scored most of their goals, as we said, at home, and Adelaide City struggling as well away from home. We know Olympic from last week have only won the opening game away from home against the Northern Spirit. But both teams today came here for a result, I'd say. But the result was really put to test after such an early great goal from the home side, wasn't it? Savinsky. Oh, Kalina at the break of knots was pacing through to take the return ball. To Hassel. Neat from Sakenis. Emerton. And Bailey. And Blagojevic. Obviously not a rugby league supporter, otherwise he might have been avoiding the white boots. So he's played in princely style with them today. Emerton now charging at goal. Will it come for Emerton? It's still there. He wants it badly. Emerton, no. Well, it would be just reward for a splendid afternoon's work for Brett Emerton, who turns 20 next month. It came for him, as it often does when you work hard. Viet was the man back again to shadow him. Uh, that was just running away from him at pace. Probably signs that he is suffering a little from so much football as well. And I think it would be a nice move just to give him a rest and bring on another substitution. But in saying that, it would be a good reward to leave him on until the end of the game, too, and take the plaudits of the, the crowd. So it's a little bit of a catch-22, I guess, isn't it, Alan? Yeah, it is. But I think you've just got to weigh it up for the whole season. Too much football for a young man like that can sometimes be a little distracting, both mentally and physically. But you're right. He'd love that, I'm sure. Here's Yates. Uh, near post ball to Mori. He might have chanced it on the left foot. He went to Mori. Now Viet. Will it come for Adelaide City? Oh, it just about did. Hassel. Olympic eight players back. Nine. And it's got to come away for them. Savinsky, the touch on to Sakenis. And Kalina. I'd like to have a meter on how far he's run today, Kalina. The 18-year-old in the, the absolute peak of fitness. Home to be 18 again. Almost a little push in the back again. You might want to incur the wrath of the referee, Thomas, because he's on one yellow card, so it's backed off Mori a little bit throw in at Olympics way. You're rich. And Peter, when you look at the defence for uh, Sydney Olympic, there have been a lot of changes over the season, and we're only halfway through it. Jim Curtis, the first time, uh, first team goalkeeper that was brought here. Well, George Bahutis has sat in there well. And defenders Adam Sianta and Kimon Taliadoros, well, they've both exited the scene for the season. So there's been trials and tribulations, and uh, good sign is that Olympic have readjusted well. And they've been highly competitive today. They really haven't pushed anyone forward. They've been a very strong block. And I think that, uh, with uh, Scotty Thomas on screen also, has been a significant factor. 
And we've got another man coming back, George Soros, after a, an horrific run with injury as well. So it's starting to look bright for Olympic. Here's Viet. Viet! Oh, well, the shot did go across the face of goal, but I'm not sure that he wasn't trying to guide it onto the head of Mori rather than actually taking the hit to try and sneak it inside the, the left upright. But Olympic are going to break clear again. And it comes back for Ivanovic. Olympic, Yurik going forward. Savinsky, who's in the middle? Yurich is there. And so too Alex Tobin. Now Terminello. Now Adelaide City have still got seven men in their own half at this stage of the game and maybe that pretty much sums it up. If you're 2-0 down at this stage of proceeding, surely you'd be pushing just everyone forward when you had the ball and rapidly. I guess you can't be too critical. They're away from home. They're against a hot Olympic side. One of the quality sides of the competition. They've been outplayed, outgunned today. It's 2-0 down. Could have been more. In fact, probably at this stage, a goal for Adelaide City would, uh, wouldn't be fair in the context of the toing and throwing. Here's Kim, oh, fine cross in. Hassel, can he get it back in? He squares the ball and there's an opportunity. Is there for Terminello, he's brought down. Penalty! Penalty! No doubt it was a penalty. I'm even gonna take a punt saying it was without looking at the replay, but great skills. Beautiful cut back from Hassel. Look at that, beautiful little flick over the top. And there goes the right ankle. No doubt, and you can tell by the body language. Sakenas. Yeah, absolutely. And this is interesting, you alluded to it. They may not deserve a goal, but certainly this is a deserved penalty. And if they can get something here, anything can happen. Mm. And as we said, Olympic had their chances, didn't they? And they may rue them. Well, Alex is. Tobin doesn't miss many. Alex Tobin with a responsibility. He moves in. Saved! Oh, Mr. Bahutsis! Tobin having another stab too to try and make up for the penalty miss and well, it's always easy to be critical of someone who misses a penalty but uh, I'm not sure that he didn't hit that in the right spot it was a brilliant save look at Kalina great little touch to Cardozo Everton's far post here's Everton oh no just out of play again heroics at both ends of the field a tick come off the body of the keeper, Petkovic, but what about that Bahutsa save? Terrific stuff, keeping the score at Olympic 2, Adelaide City nil. Brett Emmett and stand up. You've had an enormous game today. You're still running. It's hot. It's been hot. 88 minutes of action. You've had a game this weekend. Congratulations to you and to Jason Kalina. And I've just singled out too, but uh, really the whole Olympic side. And a cool. Just over the head of Emmett and again. And, and just getting from... back to that penalty, I said he doesn't miss much as we see shots on goal. Olympic 23, Adelaide City 10, including that penalty. He scored 30 goals though in the Ericsson, in the National Soccer League. Alex Tobin and didn't quite get his 31st. But the goalkeepers are allowed to move now. That's the new introduction to the law. After many years of mm. selling the goalies, they've got to stay on their line. They can jump all over the place. No, I think he just read it perfectly. He made did. a great save. He saved a penalty earlier this year against Carlton. And that's another one for the archives, the personal archives for 20-year-old, or, or the number 20, I should say. He's not 20 by any means, he's 29. The number 20, Bahutsis. A great spread, a great sprawling save. And in fact, he has made a couple of very subtle contributions to the day's activities, denying Mori in the first half with a great spread. It does go with you sometimes, though, when you're making the game and you're leading 2-0. Great get 
from Blagojevic and look at Kalina with another run again. Cardozo, the ball comes first time. Couldn't quite release it to Savinsky the way he wanted to. And Kim stepping over the ball. You'd like to see him a, a little more involved in the game. Kim, he has some fantastic skills on the ball. Good turn of pace. Viet and Kim have been dangerous along with Mori in the first half, but unsighted in the second. And credit to Olympic for their marking at the back. And Thomas has had a terrific game in that respect too. Another man who can breathe, Peter Sakenis. <laughs> He'd given it up. Well, we're in injury time. Olympic two or in time added on. Can't remember any injuries today. Or too many. It's in the Olympic two, Adelaide City nil. Terminello. Terminello. Looking for Yates. Still there. And away by Urich. And the strike is in the back of the nets. And that's a goal to Hassel. He's pulled one out. And that is something of a consolation effort for the Adelaide City side. And I guess in a sense, uh, you'd have to apologise the, to the player because he hit that splendidly to score it at the end of a game like this. And in fact, Bahooks has almost saved it. He knocked it into the, into the back of the net. It's 2-1 and there's that, that consolation goal. And, and time must be up, surely. 2-1, not the fair indication of the day's play. Surely the whistle has to go right now. Hamilton wants one, two in the last minute. It'd be spectacular. Well, you've just got to go to the corner now and hold the ball and waste time. It's ironic, isn't it? Because really, it could be two all. And that's what they'll rue. But what's this has basically saved them a point here today. Or although, two points. Although play might have run a little bit differently after the... Uh, a successful penalty kick you might say but I do take your point well I think Zoran Medic will be taking it that way as well well Adelaide City go again but look this are still four back on their own line it's a game of chances and I'm not saying that Adelaide City deserved much here today but it's amazing how things can turn out if you take those chances the Sydney Olympic might just play a bit of possession football here. Play on, says the referee. That looked to be a foul, but possibly a dive. Savinsky becoming involved. They're just going to hang on to it until they wind the clock down. He's onside here. Cardozo in the centre. Savinsky. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It was there. It was on the platter. There were prawns and lobsters. Everything was crawling around. It doesn't matter.